Hi everyone, so today I am making barilla tacos. I hope I'm pronouncing it right because I don't want to offend anyone, but let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with my peppers. And you're going to notice when you start cutting these peppers open that they're going to be loaded with seeds. So once you cut off the heads of these peppers, and it can be a little difficult, so I do recommend getting some shears, you're going to start emptying out these peppers. They are filled with these little seeds. Some people keep them in, but I am deciding to take them out. Once you have emptied out all the seeds, and y'all trust me, you don't have to get like every single seed out, but just get out as most as you can. You're gonna put it in a pot where it's boiling and you're gonna boil it with your beef broth or chicken broth and you're gonna let it steam and boil till it gets really soft. In the meantime, while it's on the stove, I am going to start with my garlics and I'm going to start separating them, peeling them, separating them. And this is also gonna add a lot of great flavor to your sauce. Also, you're gonna to want to get a whole onion and you're gonna to want to cut them into small dice pieces. What's gonna happen is we are going to take these pieces of the onion, the garlic, and we are going to add it into the blender. Peppers are now steamed and boiled into like a sauce and this is looking really great you guys so while it's still cooking I'm going to grab some of my carrots and I'm going to start cutting those up so I can also add it to the blender. With all the previous ingredients that I showed you all of this is going to go into the blender. Now we are going to get the beef. And make sure that when you cut this beef that you cut it into like equal sizes. It doesn't have to be too small but enough so that everything can heat up evenly because you are going to be seasoning this meat and you are going to also, the same sauce that you saw blended in the blender, this is what we are going to boil this meat in and get this meat nice and tender. So, I am going to season my meat with the chili powder. We're going to use some common ground seasoning. And we're also going to add a little bit of salt. And once you get all the seasoning on there, make sure you guys kind of mix it up a little bit to make sure that the seasoning is evenly disputed onto the meat. And we are going to put it inside of our skillet and we're going to get this meat good and brown before we start to add that sauce that we made in the blender. So let's start cooking this meat. While the beef is browning, I'm going to start on my short ribs. And what I'm going to do is remove the meat that is around the bone. And I also separate the fat away from the meat as well. I don't particularly want to have fat in my taco because we want this meat to be able to separate without any kind of toughness. So the meat is cooking and it's starting to get brown and it's starting to look really delicious y'all and it looks and smells as good as it looks. Now that 
to have the meat on kind of like a medium rare which is typically how i do my meat if you want it well done that is your preference but it's going to cook all the way through anyway because it's going to boil in this sauce and these are basil leaves that i'm adding for a little bit more flavor and this is going to sit you guys for about two and a half to three hours so make sure that you have your timer on and within the two and a half three hours you should have some good seasoned tender meat So now that the meat is looking very tender and juicy, we are going to separate the meat from the sauce and we are going to start separating this meat. So you're gonna see how it just easily tears apart. It's so tender that you can honestly do it with a spoon as well, but make sure that you are separating your meat from the sauce because we are going to be using the sauce later. So remember the sauce I told y'all to put to the side? That's what you're gonna dip your tortilla in. And make sure that you have your heat a little bit lower than mine because you see it's popping like crazy. But um, yeah, so you are going to add your meat to your tortilla on the half of your tortilla. And I decided that I wanted to use Mexican mixed cheese. People like to use mozzarella, but I wanted that mixture. And you're also going to add your diced onions but I decided that I wanted to use red onions because I particularly like the flavor I think it's a sweeter taste and you're going to add your cilantro so this is coming out really good um, make sure your pan is good in oil so that you don't burn your tortilla and once you've added these ingredients to your taco and then that's when you're going to do the flip over method so you see how it's still kind of soft it still kind of needs to be on the scale just a little bit more but over the time that you flip it over and over um, probably like two three times honestly and it's going to be on the scale it probably no longer than a minute and a half and it's going to start to kind of like form into that buddy a taco i hope i'm pronouncing it right y'all but overall they came out so good and it smells so good y'all this is now that i know how to make this it's it's a done deal you guys oh and y'all it was so good y'all gonna see that i took a big chunk out of it and i had to go back i was tearing this taco up but thanks for watching